Hi everyone, so I'm just making a quick video about how you can utilize the DSA resources available out there. Recently I made a video about the best DSA resources that you can use and now this video is about how you can utilize them. Because I've seen a lot of people utilize the DSA resources the wrong way and they think they're learning, they think they're understanding everything but whenever they start to solving problems or whenever they come across a new problem, they get stuck and they feel like they haven't really learned anything all they've done is basically gotten the false sense of confidence that you're actually learning. So how do you watch DSA playlist the right way or how do you follow a DSA course on YouTube the right way? That is what we're going to talk about in this video and this is something that is extremely important. So make sure that you watch it till the end. Now the first thing that you need to understand is that there are two types of DSA videos on YouTube. One type of DSA video will be there in which the person is explaining an algorithm or a data structure and it's working or a concept or a technique. And then one sort of DSA video will be there in which the person will be explaining the solution to a particular problem, right? So if you see Striver, he has his playlist in which he explains like solutions. He goes problem by problem. He explains the solution, the topic, etc. problem wise. And if you see Abdul Bari's videos, then he explains the algorithm or the data structure, right? So the first type of videos you can easily watch before you start problem solving, right? So let's say you're going pattern wise, you pick a sheet like Strive's sheet and you go pattern by pattern, you come across two pointer, you come across LinkedIn, or Linklist, or you come across a particular algorithm and you want to learn the algorithm in depth. So you can easily watch a video of on YouTube that explains the algorithm, right? But before the problem, you should not watch the tutorial. A simple mistake I see a lot of people make is as soon as they come across a new problem, they start watching the video on that problem, right? So people, what they do, they start Strivers graph series and they start watching the video even before doing the problem, right? So that is something that you should not be doing. This is not a series on Amazon Prime. This is not a series on Netflix that you are binge watching, right? This is a means to an end. This is not a means to a start. This is a means to an end. So first you have to do the problem. If you get stuck in the problem or if you come across a concept that you have no idea about, then you can go to the playlist, okay? Whatever the playlist is, you have to solve the problem first. And while watching the video, you have to understand it and then you have to come back to the problem and then solve it, okay? If you just watch the video and think, okay, I have understood the problem, I'll be able to do this in the interview or I'll be able to do this on lead code, then you're just fooling yourself. The video is there to just help you understand. It's not going to make you learn the logic. The logic you'll only get by doing the problem yourself, right? So again, to reiterate, Whenever you come across a concept or a problem, first you must learn the concept, you must learn the algorithm, you must learn the logic behind it. For that, you can search a video on YouTube, that is fine. Then you need to solve the problem. Now, if you have an issue in solving the problem or if you want to know more about how to solve the problem, then you can watch a video from their playlist, like Strivers playlist or any other playlist. Then you have to come back to the problem, solve it yourself, code it yourself and then go forward. Okay. And I repeat, and I always say this in all of my videos, always write the code yourself. Don't copy code from any playlist, from any YouTube video. You must be the person that is writing your own code for a like submitted code for any lead code problem. Now, the second mistake that people do is while watching the video, they don't make any notes. So note making is extremely important for DSA. Don't think it is just watching the video and solving the problem. You have to make notes, especially whenever you're learning something new make notes about it all right and what i suggest is keep track of all the problems that you've solved so if you go across driver sheet then he has on his website where he has problems and then notes for them but you can make that yourself just make a google doc or a google sheet where you have different columns one column is for the problem one column is its note one column is its topic and in the note write down what you have learned write down the concept involved in solving the problem this will help you in revision because you cannot go back to watching the video back to back, right? Because the take, because watching the video will take time. You have to refer your notes. You cannot watch the entire video back again when you get stuck again. You have to refer to your notes that will take lesser time. One more mistake I've seen people make is that they think they'll only follow one creator for every concept. That is a wrong way of doing. If someone tells you only have a single source of learning, that is wrong. You can have multiple sources of learning. You can learn one topic from one place and then you can learn one topic from another place. For example, you can refer Striver for his graph series. You can refer Kunal Kishwa for other something and you can refer Aditya Verma for his DP. You can refer Pep Coding for backtracking. 
so you can have multiple sources of learning but the common thing will be your notes while watching the video you have to make notes so this is how the sequence should be first you learn the concept then you solve the problem if you get stuck then you see the video in the playlist then you come back and you submit the problem write the code then you make note you have to do these five steps that i just mentioned while you're doing problems according to a playlist or while you're doing problem according to a dsa sheet if you don't do all of these five steps then you will be forgetting the problem that you have just done or you'll be forgetting the concept and you'll not be building the actual logic in your mind you cannot just be lying down and watching the video on a tv and just relaxing and thinking you're understanding everything no you have to do step wise you have to put efforts into it you have to make sure that you're feeding in your mind what the problem is about and how you're achieving the solution this is extremely important now one more thing is that you don't have to watch the entire video or you don't have to watch all the videos if you get stuck see the video but at any point you click the solution you can go back to solving the problem there's no need that you have to watch the entire video or let's say a problem you were able to do yourself you don't need to watch the video of that you can if you have time but the main focus is on solving the problems not like finishing the playlist finishing the playlist will not give you any benefit solving the problems is what will actually give you the benefit all right so have multiple sources of learning do enough problems build the logic in your mind and with that you will be able to master dsa in with just using free resources you don't need anything more now soon enough i'll be making a video about how to revise dsa how to make notes in dsa and i'm going to give you a lot more tips about how you can master dsa so make sure that you stay tuned to the channel subscribe for more videos and yeah let's see you in the next one